Uh, so what we are doing for Scott, though, is email marketing. And so you can see it, creatively it's very integrated uh, with the blog. And we've been doing that for a few months now. And uh, is this a laser, too? Yeah. Yes. How do you, uh, oh, there you go. So you can see we're uh, cross-pollinating some of the other social media platforms as well. So between your website and your email, you know, we've got the icons there to drive people to the blog, to Facebook, to Twitter, and so on. And it's a good way to, to build uh, the uh, your following and your network on some of the other platforms. Uh, and the other good thing uh, that I like about Rocky Mountain Soap with Scott is that he very rarely says no. So whenever I come to him with a wacky idea or a contest or a promotion, he says, yeah, let's do it. Um, so this is their Facebook page. They have about 400 fans, but about, uh, I guess it was about two months ago, just before the, uh, the Olympics, or during the Olympics, I came up with this idea to have a, 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 an Olympic private party. Did, does anybody, did you know about that? Anyone get involved in that? I guess it wasn't that big. Two people. <laughs> um, but Scott got involved as one of the sponsors, and Navia West, and uh, Sam and Kings, and Liquor Plus, Red Phillips. Uh, and so um, we put together this contest where you win a private party down at Navia West to watch the men's gold, uh, gold medal game. Uh, luckily enough, well, of course, you all know the result, but uh, it was against the U.S., so it was just a, a great party, and, and some folks came down and uh, met. But I, what, what I wanted to show you here is that the stock put it up on, his, on, on the blog and Twitter and Facebook and so on, but he got 25 comments. So I don't know if you, know, if you guys are surfing around Facebook and seeing what's going on, but 25 comments is pretty good. And the great thing about what happens here is those 25 people, of course, if they have cumulatively, cumulatively, they may have a couple of thousand fans on Facebook, so they all see this activity. And that's how you, know, you get more people back to your Facebook page and generate more interest. Uh, and this is something else that um, Scott does on a pretty regular basis, is have different events at the store and invite people in. So this is their Christmas open house, which was back in November. Um, He's, uh, so he put out the event on, on uh, Facebook and got 69 confirmed guests. And uh, how many people ended up showing up, Scott? Probably a lot more than that. Yeah, there was 250 showing up over a few days. That's not bad. Anybody here a retailer? Have a retail outlet? No? Uh, and this is Twestable. Anybody at Twestable last week? A few people? Wow, it's a you whole different crowd. You missed it? <laughs> uh, anybody know about Trustable? Yeah? Not everybody. Okay. So another thing that Scott's been involved in uh, for both of them last September and, and now, uh, so you can see their, their logo down there and some of the other sponsors, but basically just really being involved in the community. So everything that's going on, you know, he, he's been a part of. So part of my kind of is that the future is in air media. And this isn't really news uh, to anyone, I don't think. This has been happening for a couple of years. But, uh, you know, as, as far as I know, I don't think Rocky Mountain has uh, spent money on advertising in about six months or so. Um, and through some of these things that's, that have been going on, that he's been involved with, uh, we've been on the Daily, I think Shaw TV for different things. Uh, so this has been seen on YouTube 955 times. Not to mention however many people saw it when it was actually on Shaw. It's run a couple of times. Uh, and this is the Social Media Club uh, about a month or so ago. Uh, a couple of familiar faces, and really guy you'll see in a second. But uh, it's just to, to show again how involved in the community, and this is kind of what social media is about, is it's not just the, the Twitter and the Facebook and so on, but meeting out at the events and, and supporting the community as well. And that's on YouTube, and that's got a, a couple of hundred views as well. This was, uh, you got involved in Habitat for Humanity. We made a gingerbread house on there. And it was, was it Shaw that we were on there? Yeah, Shaw again. Yeah. And then that was so much fun that we actually built another big uh, uh, gingerbread house. And that was one of the ones that was on display down at the Laurel Point Inn uh, for a couple of months. And that was the, uh, the tweet up that we had uh, just uh, to go up to the Laurel Point and, and view the uh, uh, gingerbread house. So a lot of this, the kind of culmination of this, is that uh, Rocky Mountain Soap won the 2009 Retailer of the Year Award at Mayfair Mall last year, and that's uh, Scott's wife, Casio, there on the left. And this is Scott's favorite page. Store visits uh, last year were up 27%, and then sales increases, uh, increases. So year over year, each month, 
July was up 63%. It was just great numbers, phenomenal numbers. So the, the average, I think, that I worked out was about 47 or 49% increase year over year. Uh, and then the pre-social media baseline, is that right, 21%? Yeah. So prior to social media, the baseline was 21%. And in fact, I think all of the other stores, there were six or seven other stores, were either flat or down a bit. So a story that Scott tells that I, that I still love to hear is that he got a call from head office one day and they said, uh, Scott, and they were a bit flustered. They said, this is great. Your numbers are great. How are you doing this? All the other stores are flat. And he said, uh, social media. Yeah, yeah, we know you're on Twitter, but these numbers, how are you doing this? This is great. Yeah, social media. Yeah, yeah, we know the Facebook and all that, yeah, but how are you doing this? <laughs> and so uh, the, the term uh, un unbelievable was actually literal in that sense because they didn't believe it. Um, but I mean, that was the case. So uh, it was just a testament to not only what you can do for the community uh, and driving traffic to the store, but you know, actual numbers. So the key takeaways have a holistic strategy, um, and it's, it's something that it was more organic in our case where we kind of were working on stuff uh, a bit slowly, but uh, Scott's mantra is engage, engage, engage. And if you look at his Twitter feed, you'll see that there's a lot of hat signs in there, meaning that he's talking to people a lot. It's not you know, just putting out deals and, and uh, specials and so on, but there's a lot of engagement going on. Building relationships, always adding value, Rob mentioned that, uh, and all of this kind of adds uh, or culminates in building social capital. So, uh, you know, people being top of mind so that people know when they need soap, where am I going to go? I'm going to go down and see Rocky Mountain. And be consistent. So keep telling the same message over and over. I think I went over my 10 minutes, but any questions?